For today's episode of the Home Care Sales and Marketing Talk Show, A Drink with the Hurricane, I'm going to talk about the importance of having a prospect call sheet or an inquiry sheet. This is A Drink with the Hurricane, the Home Care Sales and Marketing Talk Show that discusses all things growing your home care business. This is the inquiry sheet that we give to all of our clients and our and our people who were working with us. And by having this sheet, when an inquiry calls in, it allows us to be prepared for that conversation. And it allows us, through proper inquiry management training, to be able to schedule an appointment to meet with somebody. And and, and from from a from a from a prospective client standpoint. And I know some people get this all the time. People, people, people call me all the time and they ask me, you know, Steve, you know, I got a client. They always call it. How much is it going to cost? What's the price? What's the price? What's the price? What's the price? This process and having a prospect call sheet like this allows you to control the conversation, get to the point of the need, and determine if they're the right person for you or not. And it also allows you to really truly answer their questions and give them the logical solution next step, which is a consultation to discuss services. You, you're not gonna sell this over the phone. Now I know there's a lot of people, I sell cases all the time over the phone. Yes, you sell two hour a day cases, which is exactly what the person want, and that's what, dr- what blows up the, 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 uh, the agency, and you, you hate those cases, right? If you want somebody who's gonna pay 40 hours a week, 56 hours a week, 84 hours a week, you have to meet with that person. Even if they want 24 seven and they need it right now, then you really have to meet with the person and not for the financial reasons because you need to know what you're getting involved with to provide the quality care. If somebody needs that much help, you don't want to sell that over the phone. You have to do right by your clients. For your operation, you need to meet with that patient. What this does is you basically get the person and they call in and they say, you know, hi, it's John Doe from blah, blah, blah. And I'm giving a call because my mom is in the hospital and she's coming home and she's going to need home care. And I want to know how much this is going to cost. This is a typical caller. So the way I respond is, uh, yes, well, you know, I can definitely help you with that. Hang on one quick second. Let me grab a sheet of paper, pull up my inquiry form. And then I say, okay, um, can I get your first name, please? Yes, your first name is is John, you said? Okay, great, John. And now listen, just in case we get disconnected, because it happens all the time, what's the best number I can reach you back on? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, John, and how did you get this phone? How did you find us? Oh, you found us through referral at a social worker. Oh, at the hospital, is that where mom is? Yes, okay, at the hospital, great. What hospital? Boom, boom, okay, great. Now, John, is it okay if I ask you a bunch of questions so that I can find out a little bit more detail about the situation so I can give you the appropriate price? Because we have a wide range of prices and services and we might not even be the right agency for you. So is it okay if I ask you a couple of quick questions? And then, you know what John's gonna say? John's gonna say, yeah, sure, no problem. And then boom, I go through and I fill out the entire top part over here. And you gotta make it so it's conversational. So don't say, what is your dad's name or your mom's name? What is her address? What is her phone number? What is her situation and health issues? No, don't say that. Make it conversational. Okay, John, so you know, tell me what's going on. You said your mom's in the hospital, what happened to her? And then you fill it out. And as you're filling it out, he's telling you the background and the story and everything else. And some people get detailed. If, if your goal, if you can get 10 minutes to 15 minutes with somebody on the phone to fill this out, that person's going to meet with you because now they're opening up to you. They're telling you the whole story. They're obviously feeling comfortable with you, which is what it takes to, to, to be a good agency is to make people feel comfortable with you. That's our, that's our job as, as, as a home care company. And then at the bottom here, you have your key points to communicate. And you want to, again, with everything, rehearse it so that it, it flows and it's natural conversation. You don't want to read, we are a licensed healthcare service firm. All aides are home health aides and our employees. We don't use subcontractors. That is not what you want to say. You want it to flow. So it's just so you're aware, John, 
I'm going to tell you a little bit about our company. We are a licensed healthcare service firm. We get our license from Consumer Affairs. And what that basically means is all of the people who work here are our employees. We don't use subcontractors or independent contractors or anything like that. And because they're our employees, we make sure that everybody is a certified home health aide. How does that sound, John? That's that's conversational. That's exactly what the first line says, but that's conversational. And I go through this whole thing. At the end, I don't even discuss the rates, and I say the next step logically is for you to meet with me, and I can do a free consultation so it doesn't cost anything. I can meet with your mother, find out more details about her needs specifically, and then we can find a solution that works within her budget, and we could go from there. How does that sound, John? And what John is thinking is, wow, this is an answer to my prayers, this is wonderful. And, and, and then I go out there and then I meet with them and then I close the deal with my closing process, which is something I talk about all the time on the drinks with the hurricanes and with coaching clients and everything else. That's inquiry management. The goal is to get the appointment, not sell them on the phone. Don't get into price. You don't have to. You know, the example I always use with people when they say, used to say to me, you know, well, I want to know your prices. How do you not know your prices and stuff? And I say, well, think about it this way. If you want me to come and, and replace your master bathroom in your house, can I give you a price over the phone without seeing your master bathroom? And they're like, no. And I was like, exactly. So the same thing, I don't know how many hours you need. I, you have an idea as to what you want, but I don't know how many hours you actually need. It may, you, may need you may want more than you need. You may not, need, you may not want enough. I, we won't know until I get out there and see what we're dealing with. But I can give you a range of prices. And our ranges are this and this and this, but I'll know more when I meet with you. By the time you get to the end of it, they're loving you. And, and you know what I loved about this? This went right to the ultimate goal of the home care company. We are a customer service agency. We are a customer service business. And so when I would go out after Diane or Kim or Samantha or Kate or Maria or Jennifer, these were all people who worked in our office over the years, and they would set up appointments for me to go meet with families, especially Diane, but they all, all of them, especially Diane. I would come in there and the first thing they would say is, Steve, that Diane was so nice. She was so helpful. She answered all of my questions. I don't even know <laughs> what this is gonna cost, but I had to meet with you because she was so helpful on the phone that I'm like, if this is the person who's answering the phone, then I have to meet with this agency. Because what, what's the ultimate goal here? Care for a loved one. So customer service, that, that's what we do. This process, everything is processed, makes it easy, makes it streamlined to get the appointment, to go out and meet with the family and get them to sign up so that you can do your mission, providing the best quality of care to keep our seniors aging in place with dignity and grace. That's what it's all about. Now, as my thank you to you for watching this episode, I'm going to give you this inquiry process, this incoming prospect call sheet. Click on the i link above on YouTube or in the message below, you can see the link to go to our website and download it. My gift to you. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. God bless.